everyone, Achika here, and it's Wednesday, so that means it's time for another DC Will Bay Showcase here on the channel, and today I got another very special one lined up for you guys. So it's been a minute since we checked in with Batman DC. Batman DC has had a few bases featured here on the channel. I will link their Batcave up above, and they also had a Doctor Strange base, uh, Sanctum Sanctorum, that I'll link at the end of the video for you guys to check out if you're interested in that. But today we're going to check out another one of their iconic themed bases. It is Wayne Mansion this time. I'm so Super stoked to see Batman's take on this, so without further ado, why don't we check out Batman DC's base entitled Wayne Mansion. So many of you have bat caves, but like I said, it's really cool to see you guys grow. Oh, I think I skipped already. Did I miss it? No, I think it's still down here a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's still cool to see your guys' different takes on the base out. There it is. Wayne Mansion. And see how they evolved. Also, I love that you guys are giving each other ideas. I think that's really fun, too, because I've seen it. Oh. Ooh, look at this. Oh, with the new pub walls. Oh, guys, look at that. Oh, this is fantastic. When this is coming out, it's the last day for St. Patrick's Day, I think. So make sure you guys get some of those bar walls, because look what you can do with them. They look absolutely fantastic. Oh, my God. But yeah, so we have our entrance here. And because the, the pub walls have... Oh, I love the new doorways. Oh, it's so good. This is great. Look at that. Very awesome. All right, so over here we have... Uh, oh, a coat rack. Very, very nice. And over here we have a sitting area. How cozy. Piano. An unbreakable one. Very good investment for Master Wayne. <laughs> Look at a sitting room here with the fireplace. This is, this is very cozy for a manor theme. Lots of fires and coziness on the fan. Chandelier above. Alright, let's go upstairs and see what we got here. But of course, the Wayne Memorial up above. As well as a library full of bookcases and windows to Gotham. A couple sitting areas on each side as well with art pieces. Oh! <laughs> the broker with the cash. Okay, that's, that's a very nice touch. <laughs> I love that. Very, very nice. Alright, let's go to the left side first here. Ooh, lots of art pieces and more windows, but of course. Security station or a filing room even, maybe? Oh, the file boxes are put in there. Very nice. <laughs> Some bookcases. Oh, wow, the study bookcases look really great in them. I, I don't know. I'm sure somebody's done this before, but I can't remember seeing uh, study bookcases in this hallway before. Great. Oh, well, hello. I, I'm assuming this is supposed to be Ace and not uh, Wonder Dog, since we don't have an Ace yet. But still. <laughs> I love Wonder Dog so much. But look at this. Oh, yes. Gotta feed the doggo. <laughs> Always. There you go, puppers. Yes. Look, he's so happy. Oh, good, such a good boy. I love the sand garden with the sculpture. This, oh, the rug inlay. Oh, that's lovely. I also really love how they made the um, the rugs for the Wayne Manor pack clip okay, too. Right? Isn't that great? I know, I agree. Um, we need a pet emote. Pet emote win! <laughs> I must pet the pets. No! I would love a base pet that, like, you could actually interact with and pet them. That'd be awesome. Oh, look at the dining room. Fantastic. Look at the spread, too. Very nice. And I think we can... Oh, look at the swordfish above the mantle, too. That's that's really, really good. Oh, wow. Actually, is that... That is a... That's one of the Yule TVs, like, clipped in, right? With the fireplace? I think it is. Let's take a look at this. Oh no, I guess it's just the Wayne Manor theme, unless I broke everything. 
in one hit, which I definitely could have. I guess it's just the Wayne Manor fire. I thought that was one of the Yule Log TVs in there. Oh, never mind. There's a Yule Log TV. <laughs> Very cool. Got some some extra. Oh, I love the tabs here too. Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, man. I really love this year's St. Patrick's Day furniture. They killed it with it. It's so good. Oh, man. It looks so nice. And looks like we have some Starro getting uh, grilled here, as well as some pineapple. Ooh, pineapple teriyaki Starro. Might have to partake of that later. <laughs> oh, this is great. What a wonderful kitchen. And this should lead back to the hallway, right? Yes. Very nice. Okay, so let's check out some of these rooms here. We'll check out this one for Oh, who had treats and then got sweepy. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, dude, I love the dogs. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, so, okay, so this is the, one of the Robin's rooms. I think, I do believe this is, uh, with the Flying Graysons, I think this is Dick and Tim's room? I think? I think Dick and Tim share a room. So I think this is Dick's, and this is probably Tim's. I do believe. With the TV. Very nice. Alright. Let's see this room here. Ooh, very cool. And I think this is, yeah, so this is Damien and Jason's room, I think. So I think this is Jason's because, I mean, he's got the red bed <laughs> and the white rack. And uh, then I think this is Damien's um, with the uh, kind of the, uh, what do you call it? Nanda Parbat-esque, like, you know, <laughs> kind of feeling to it. Very cool. We have a billiard room. Ooh, Wayne. <laughs> yes. I think we saw this in the last, uh, the last Batman base. I think it was, uh, uh Batman JLM, I do believe. Oh, so cool. <laughs> And we have a bathroom. Oh, with the comics. <laughs> and what do we have in here? <gasps> a home theater. Oh, this is great. I love the golden speakers to match the chairs. Like, that really is a really nice, uh, really nice touch. And I'll take some more for you later. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Really great use of the rooms, too. This is, this is fun. Ooh, okay, so we have some art here. Some, oh, some more art as well. As well as some statuary on loan from the Gothic Museum, or Gotham Museum, possibly. I don't know, maybe Bruce just has his own mammoth. <laughs> he's, just, he's just got so much money, he can just have his own uh, dinosaur. <laughs> This is great. We have the library, uh, or the, all right, let me, uh, let me just fix this here. Cause this is not supposed to be that way. So this is like Bruce's main office here. And we'll, uh, we'll get to what's behind, uh, the secret door here in a second. <laughs> we'll take a better look at that later. I guess I should have entered that room at the very end. We get another sitting room. Oh, this is just, it's so cozy and like quaint for a manor. It's just, it's nice. I'm enjoying this. All right, and now we have the other large room area here. All right, let's check out this room first. Oh, this must be Bab's room, of course. We have the Oracle screens here. <laughs> Very, very awesome. Very nice. Alright, and I think Steph and Cass have their own rooms too here. Oh, this is great. Really good use of the rugs, man. Like, the floor planning is excellent in here. Very, very, very cool. Alright, so let's see what we have here. A 
another room. I'm not sure if this is Steph or Cass. I'm assuming it might be... I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. It's one of them, though. I do know Steph and Cass have their own rooms in here. So let's check out the other room here. Maybe there's a bit of a distinction. Okay. Alright, so that was Steph's and this is Cass's, for sure. <laughs> the tea table kind of gave it away. Oh, look at the teddy bear, too! Oh, that's so good. Really great use of the toy box. That's awesome. Really, really great clip. Oh my gosh. And then we have another bathroom, but of course. Alright. And a gym. Very, very cool. No Wayne establishment would ever be without a gym. And back here we have... Oh my gosh! We have a little locker room to change! <gasps> That's such a nice touch. Dude, the floor planning in here is insane. So nicely done. Ugh. And I think this should be the master bedroom, if I'm not mistaken. So this is Master Wayne's suite. Oh, yes. Look at this. Very nice. Well, hello, Isis. How are you doing there? I know I don't have a petty moat. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so cute, though. <laughs> so in here is the master bath. Yes. Along with a shower. Oh, very nice. As well as a shelf to keep all the toiletries in. Very, very, very nice. his and her sink. So I'm assuming with the cat in here that the Selena is in the occupants too, along with Bruce. Ooh, look at this. This is great. Oh yeah, I think there's actually, hold on. Oh, look at that. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> very, very cool. Oh man. Yeah, uh, Batman DC gave me a couple of little uh, tips about like who who had rooms and uh, where to break certain items. So hopefully I, I remembered everything, Batman. If I didn't, please sound off in the comments. Let me know if I missed anything here. Some more art in this hallway. As well as another room here. And I think this is Alfred's room! Look at this, all the suit jackets. Of course, he's got his desks. Alfred would have the gothic bed. That seems very... Or the antique bed. <laughs> very, very cool. And I think that's the end of the actual manor. So why don't we go to that office again and take a more in-depth look. As well as the secret door that we already... Oh, that's still going. Wow. Alright, Larflees. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Okay, so we uh don't think we can hit the Shakespeare bust. I think we actually ah, there we go. I think it's the clock for this one. The clock is the secret one, but I do like how there are a bunch of different different items in here that look like they could be the switches, almost like the duo. You know what I mean? Like where you have to find the switch uh in the main way in Wayne Manor Gala. Very cool. Oh, no, and the bank is clipped in there. Oh, that's very cool. <laughs> All right. We have the control panel here, so let's go check out the bat cave. Oh, ho, 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 ho. very awesome. We have a Wayne Tech computer that is epic. <laughs> this. Oh, what a sparring target room with more computers and more more tech, all kinds of different weapons. Very, very nice. Bam! <laughs> Alright. And we have the teleporter over here. You can uh, fly to, or teleport to any part of Gotham, if you have the right generator mod. <laughs> 
This looks like actually, I was going to say this is a medical table, but I think it's like an R&D table because look at the Staros are being scanned there. That's pretty cool. All the man bat serum. Oh, it's in the Venom cage too. That's really nice. Good touch with that. All right, so we have a couple doors. Let me break down this one first. Ooh. Oh yeah, and I think there's a uh, armory in here too I can take a look at. Whoa! That's awesome! That's not Batman Beyond, is it? Is that like a different experimental bat suit? You guys let me know in the comments uh, who that is, because I'm sure that's one of the, uh, but that's cool. Looks like Terry, but I know it's not, because it doesn't have the, uh, the Beyond face piece. It's got, like, the Bruce face piece, but it's got, like... Yeah, you guys let me know. You guys will let me know. Also, I love the red bat signal with the red computer. That's... And the bleed energy, very, very nice touch there. <laughs> then we have the elevator going down. Which, I don't know which side I'm supposed to take, so I'm going to break this first and see if there's anything on this side. Okay, there is. There are platforms. So this is the elevator, so this is where we're supposed to go down at. Oh my gosh, look at this! <gasps> Fantastic! Look at this aerial view! Oh my gosh! Awesome. Okay, I just want to double ma I just want to make sure there's nothing down here. I'm assuming there's not. <gasps> there is! Kryptonite! That's great. <laughs> contingencies upon contingencies. Even if you're Batman's friend, you're still his enemy. <laughs> or could possibly be. Alright, so we enter the Batcave's uh, lower section to a med lab here. Of course, have to keep all the Bat family up and running. As well as the iconic uh, launch pad here out into Gotham with the Batmobile. I love the propane tank. Oh, the tank here in the back. That's a nice, nice touch. Very cool. Oh, we have the bat boat. Oh, I love the laser cutters used as, like, the guns. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool because the back has those hydraulics. It makes it look like, like, machine guns. Oh, it's so great. Like I said, like, you know what I mean? I love seeing all your guys' different takes on on these. That's what makes it so fun. Because, yeah, there's a lot of similarities, like the gas fan and the fin. But then, like, this as the turrets, that's really, really great. Very cool. And then we have the rogue gallery. But, of course, all kinds of different trophies from different uh, rogues that Batman has had to battle here. Catwoman, Penguin, Riddler, Joker, Poison Ivy, Two-Face, but of course, the Batman who laughs. We have Bane in the back there. Starro as well. <laughs> Mr. Freeze, is this a Nora? <gasps> you have Nora in the Batcave? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All kinds of different trophies, but of course. And then look at the Armory Bay! All the Bat Fam! Red Hood. We got Robins. Oh, this is great. Nightwing. Oh, man, this is great. Huntress. I'm assuming this is Cass, right? I'm not sure. You guys are going to have to let me know. I can't tell which one is which. Which one is Tim and which one is. No, okay, so this is Jason. Which one's Damien? Is this one Damien with the hood? I think Damien has the hood. I could be wrong, though. Well, I know, you guys probably are just screaming at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I try, I do. <laughs> oh, and then we have, of course, the bat suits. Look at this! Oh, it's so great! The original Batman with the purple gloves, the detective. A very standard bat suit. Very cool. Oh, you even have the eyes. Look at that. Ooh. That's very cool. And this is a uh, Gotham by Gaslight Batman. Very cool. See, I could tell which one that one is because he's got the cowl. <laughs> he's got the cowl and the Plague Doctor belt. <laughs> oh, that's so great. And then we have, of course, the elevator was up here to get back up into the Batcave. 
really, really... Oh, and then we have, of course, the Batwing up here. I don't want to forget. Is there anything else on the ceiling that I missed? Oh, we have some bats, too. Of course, it's not a bat cave without the bats. Very iconic. <laughs> and yeah, I think... If I'm not mistaken, that is the end of the tour. So thank you so much, Batman DC, for sharing your Wayne Manor-inspired base. Uh, this was fantastic. Like I said, the floor planning. Oh my gosh, all the different rooms, the rug inlays with the statues, uh, all the art. Very well done. I also love the very unique touches in the Batcave. Very, very, very well done. You guys let me know about the armories and all that good stuff. If there's anything I missed too, please let me know in the comments. I love to... I always read your comments and uh, I try to educate myself as best as I can for the next one. Although, the older I get, I find the more the information goes in and out. So, <laughs> rather, than, uh, <laughs> rather than being, uh, you know received properly but hey you know like you guys can always just uh educate me again in the next one <laughs> so yeah thank you again so much to batman dc for showing us your incredible base thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will